Dude, quit your grinning and drop your linen. I just found the greatest thing ever. Jack, please don't tell me you're gonna fuck another box. I really don't think I can handle another four week puking fest. <laughs> no, this time I'm for serious. For serious? For serious. Okay, what did you find then? Roadkill. All right, but this time, I get to be Igor. Under the arc of a weather stain boards, Asian governments and warlords come out of ground, not making a sound. The smell of death is all around. Every now when the cold wind blows, no one cares, no. Sparky is a great dog, a great friend. The best dog a kid could have. When you lose someone you love, they never really leave you. He'll always be in your heart. I don't want him in my heart. I want him here with me. Tim Burton's Frankenweenie is quite possibly the greatest film he's made since Edward Scissorhands. And no, your ears do not deceive you. I said exactly what you think I said, and I meant every damn syllable of it. I love this movie. It's a meticulous labor of love, handcrafted to perfection, and I wouldn't change a single frame. Not one. Seriously, it's that fucking good. As an adaptation, it's the best kind, taking nearly every aspect of the source material and translating it in a way that captures not only the essence, but also improves upon it. The added screen time, for example, allows more time to get to know our protagonists on a deeper level, making the tragedy that befalls them all the more impactful. And I won't lie, I shed a tear more than once. This shit's powerful, yo. Hell, Burton even improved the art direction. The art direction. I mean, let that thought sink in a moment. The man improved the very thing the original was known for in the first place. Many times I found myself gasping in awe at the sheer amount of detail present in any given frame. And holy fuck are there a lot of easter eggs. I seriously cannot wait for the DVD release so I can find all of them, because I just know there are tons I missed. To give you an idea of what kind of easter eggs I'm talking about, Frankenweenie's world is built entirely on the foundations of universal horror classic movies and Japanese kaiju films. Yes, you heard me correctly. This film is as much as Shiro Honda as it is Boris Karloff. I shit you not. Honestly, I don't want to reveal much more, so I'll just say this. See this movie. I do not care what preconceived notions you have about it, and I don't care what prejudices you hold against Burton's work. See this movie, give it a chance, and who knows, maybe you'll end up liking it. God forbid. There are two kinds of people in this world. Those that will enjoy Frank and Weenie, and those that have given up on life. I can't imagine hating this movie. I can't imagine what a terrible world it is living without hope of ever being loved. Now, I'm not saying Tim Burton hasn't done some cowabunga bullshit. We've all been there. Planet of the Apes, Alice in Wonderland, fucking Dark Shadows, I hear ya. But rest assured, this is Burton doing what he loves best, and I don't mean Johnny Depp. This is old school Burton right here. What else is there to say but go watch it? But if you refuse to give this movie a chance, 
What can I say to convince you? Get off my fucking lawn and I won't tell you why Burton's Batman is superior to Nolan's overrated fucking ass. And if you loved Hotel Transylvania over this movie, just shut the fuck up. You're the reason this movie suck. Jesus, dude. Tell us how you really feel. Oh, I'll tell you how I really feel. Ever since this movie was announced, I've been hearing nothing but naysaying. People hate Burton now for some reason, and they won't give him a chance anymore. Well, Burton just fucking proved that he can succeed where George Lucas failed. He took his own film and actually remade it better. People are already doing this movie like they did Paranorman, complaining and fucking bitching about how good movies don't get made anymore. And then they're going to trip over themselves to see Hotel Transylvania, a movie they are not going to care about next week. So do me a favor, stop watching movies, because I'm sick of fucking watching the crap you support. Now some parents don't want to take their kids to see it because the dog dies and they don't want their kids getting upset. Well you know what, baby's mom is dead, fucking Darth Vader is Luke's father, old yeller dies like a bitch, and the real little mermaid dies in screaming agony. Here's another news flash. Adam Sandler sucks and I hate you. Give your kids some fucking credit. We all collectively share experiences through movies. I shouldn't have to tell you how important that shared grief over Bambi's mom is. It's a point of common reference and by shielding your kids from these moments in a movie where it's already so goddamn safe, you're doing them a disservice. Your kid cries when Sparky dies? Good. That's how it's supposed to feel. It means they're fucking human. For rating, four out of five dead dogs. Cause fucking Ogden Edsel is wrong. This dead puppy is a ton of fun. Well, now that that's over and done with, I'm gonna go see how our test subject is doing. <laughs> Here, Poochie, Poochie, Poochie. Here, Poochie, Poochie, Poochie. Oh, come on, Poochie. You can come out. I don't bite. Well, much that is. <laughs> Here, Poochie, Poochie, Poochie. Here, Poochie. Oh, there you are, Poochie. What you doing all down here on the floor like that? Well, I guess you're always down here. You are a Poochie after all. Oh, what a cute little scared Poochie. Why don't you come on out and play with me and Jackula? <laughs> what is that you got there? Hey now! Nice Poochie! <laughs> What the hell was that noise? It's the dog, Master. It's gone crazy and it's gonna kill us! Oh my god, who could have seen this coming? I know, right? We're gonna need some help. Who could possibly help? There's only one person who could help us in a situation like this. You don't mean... Yes. Uh, uh, what's that you say? Your house is overrun by a killer puppet dog? Well, don't worry. Your old pal, Uncle Mr. the Bunny's got you covered. Here's what you need to do. Aw, oh, this ain't working! Damn it! Then we'll have to go with Plan B. Are you sure? Desperate times call for desperate measures. I just want you to know, if I don't make it, you're a rat bastard, and I hope you burn in hell. Back at you.
Look what I just found! You thinking? What? I'm thinking? <laughs> I think you are. <laughs>